Welcome to the marketing and marketing plans section or lecture in the business plan presentations. This is only going to be a summary of the business plans of the marketing section because we'll have a whole lecture series, a whole module on marketing and creating market space to come. But for now, I want to make sure you have a sense is what is expected or what one anticipates to have in the marketing section of a business plan. And as you might guess, this is one of the most important sections because <clears throat> many investors and partners are very interested in understanding where you're going to be selling your product, who your customers are likely to be, and how many of them <clears throat> there are likely to be. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you make clear is what market you're targeting and what your value proposition is. That means what is it that your customers are willing to pay for and why are they willing to pay for it? Why does that, that initial urge come that takes money out of the economy that might go to something else and move it so that it starts to move within to you, into your company and your ecosystem? That's what the value proposition is all about, the revenue side of the value proposition. So what you want to do is describe who your market is, if it's consumers or businesses or whatever, specifically which customers are in that segment are likely to actually purchase your product and why, what your segments look like from your market, drawing on your marketing experience, and the trends and opportunities in the market. This section needs to be not just soft and qualitative, you need to have some quantitative information about the size of the market the target market, as we call it, the size of that market that you might ultimately be able to, to capture. That's your target market. Of course, not everybody that you talk to in your target market, not everybody that's in your target market even knows you exist. Only people that you can address, you can somehow send something or communicate with them, your, your addressable market, are the ones that actually might purchase from you because they're aware you're there, or hopefully they are, if you're able to address them or talk to them. So that is your addressable market, which you also want to clarify how you're going to reach these people with your various marketing plans and programs. And that's what creates your addressable market as a subset of your target market. Once you've laid that out and talked about the opportunity, then you talk about your marketing and your sales strategy. How are you planning on reaching these people? In what ways, with what messages, what sorts of sales process besides marketing and marketing collateral? How are you going to be selling to them? What sort of distribution strategy might you have? Are you going to sell directly? Or are you going to only have a website? If you have a website, how are you going to get people to come to your website? Those of you that have built websites in the past realize that you can build one and it can be mighty lonely out there because nobody knows you're out there and there's an awful lot of competition everywhere, but certainly on the web these days. You talk about the competition. You look at the various attributes of your products and services from the prior section, and then you talk about your market and how your market will address the attributes that you think are the ones the customers will be willing to select your product based upon. And you lay out some competition things and provide a review of your competitors, maybe summarizing some of their features and functions and how you compare to them in some sort of a, a competitive matrix. So you're laying that all out in terms of how your customers are likely to perceive you vis-a-vis -vis the competition. All of this plays out together to give you some sort of an expected sales volume, some sort of an accepted, expected number of units translated by a pricing strategy and pricing schemes that you describe into some sort of a revenue growth model. So you can describe that in sort of a brick by brick. This is a bottom-up analysis of how many units you're going to sell, what your pricing strategy is, that turns into revenue, and that's month by month, quarter by quarter, year by year, how you expect that to grow in your various products based upon your marketing, your successful, assumed to be successful, marketing and market development plans and programs. As I said, there's an entire module that will talk about markets and building and creating new market space for startup ventures, but for now, make sure you have in the back of your mind or as you put your business plan together, this idea that there's a lot of information that you need to make sure is clear and crisp, well thought out and, and, and articulated in your business plan as it relates to your marketing and market plans. In our next 
lecture, we'll start talking a little bit about how you describe your operations and your production processes as you build your business plan. So we'll see you for that discussion next.